Today I'm on an island. It's a pretty tiny island in the Orkneys called North Ronaldsea. And in this episode I'm going to tell you why I'm here and what I've learned from the people of North Ronaldsea about health and healthcare. North Ronalds is a really tiny island right at the north of Orkney. If you go any further north, you get to Shetland, and you can actually see Shetland on a clear day from North Ronaldsey. To get there, I had to get a small plane from Edinburgh to Kirkwall, and then the only way of getting from Kirkwall to North Ronaldsey is on a really tiny plane. The tiny plane starts to give you a feel that you're going somewhere that's really quite remote. There is a boat for supplies as well, but there isn't a passenger ferry. It's a lovely little island, but it's not exactly a massive hub of activity. There's a bird observatory if you're a keen twitcher, but I prefer sheep watching. There's some special seaweed eating sheep that live on the island, roaming the beaches, grazing on washed up seaweed, and they're one of the few mammals that actually can live on seaweed. They, they nibble away at some grass as well, but it's kind of special biologically. But I'm a doctor, not a vet, so let's get back to the people that live there. Both the sheep and the people are pretty hardy, but obviously the people do need healthcare. Usually this is provided by Bernie, who's a nurse practitioner that lives on the island 24-7, and they get other people to cover when Bernie needs some time off, which is why I was there. Bernie was kind enough to talk to us about healthcare and life on the island, so I started by asking her about some of the difficulties of living and practising in such an isolated setting. And the challenges really and truly, and from a medical point of view, is getting patients off. Uh, to secondary care when the need arises. Uh, the challenges out here is certainly whether the air ambulance or the coast guard can land or whether they can fly to get to you. Um, on quite a few occasions the air ambulance has sort of turned back at the Cairngorms because of fog, because of hailstone, because of lightning and then obviously you have to change the call to the coast guard. Um, the Coast Guard helicopter usually can land in most extreme weathers, but on one occasion again, because of the fog, they actually couldn't. And the downside of maybe the Coast Guard is their main job is to rescue people at sea. So coming to take a patient off an island is like secondary to them. Normally it is the air ambulance and the remoteness of out here, plus the fact the fog and on two occasions, is landing in Kirkwall, so you have to make other arrangements to go to a hospital elsewhere if they can't land in Kirkwall. So that has been a challenge, and especially if, if the patient is deteriorating, you want to get them to secondary care, you know, alive and well, or not, you know, alive and at least stable before sort of anything happens. And that has been the challenges from a medical point of view. The challenges from sort of a, a normal sort of social aspect is uh, making sure we get our diesel, our petrol, our groceries, the, the farmers getting further for their animals again. Because of bad weather, the, we have one boat a week, so it is difficult in the winter. In the summer, okay, we have two boats a week, which does make a bit of a difference. Mm -hmm. But you, yeah, those are the, the, the sort of challenges. And it's not just in the winter. In the summer, it's the fog. In the winter, it can be the wind. And it still can be cloud as well. So the setup of healthcare on North Ronaldsey does make it quite different to anywhere else in the UK, really. In some ways, the people of North Ronaldsey are quite lucky because it's actually very easy to access primary care. They can see Bernie very easily and it's not hard to get an appointment with your GP once a week, which I know some of us in the rest of the UK can sometimes struggle with. I'm here permanently. You get eight days off a month and then somebody would come and fill in those eight days. Well, the GP comes out for two hours on a Tuesday, so it is just once a week again when they can get here, but there has been occasions when again, they've been flying overhead and can't land. So, but the, the good side of that is if they desperately need to see a GP, I can arrange for them to go into the mainland. Anything that can't be done by a GP, you need to get on a plane for to Kirkwall. There's a small hospital in Kirkwall, but anything that needs anything bigger, so regional care, then you need to then get on another plane in order to go to one of the hospitals in the Highlands. Now, that makes you think about how urgent things are and it makes it easy to realise how much we take things for granted for elsewhere and things are very instant for a lot of us and we're increasingly living in a more and more instant society where the thought that if something's important then it needs doing now that's not always true 
being on North Ronaldsey, there's a much slower pace of everything, generally, to be honest. And there's a lot more time for things to breathe. But also, it, it makes you think a bit more about when something is important and when something is urgent. And those two things aren't always the same. Sometimes things can't wait and sometimes things shouldn't wait. But sometimes, just because something's important, it doesn't mean that it is urgent. And taking that step back and thinking, well, actually, it is important, but does it need to be done now or can it wait a little bit? Sometimes I think that's a very helpful and kind of therapeutic thing to think, and it can help calm things sometimes as well. Okay, yes, a lot of the, the patients really, really love the fact that they can drop in and be seen and get their problems sort of uh, looked at or referred or whatever. And uh, as you say down south, that is not not an option. Some patients wait two weeks, three weeks to see their GP. But I suppose because, again, with an older population, the remoteness, I do think, and also the Scottish government has said there shouldn't be any difference, really. There's chalk and cheese, really. Um, I've, I've gone from seeing 60 patients a day and three ads in three treatment rooms to come in here. And I can actually, on one of my surgeries and one of my elderly gentlemen in particular, I could spend an hour with him. And there was no rush. I feel in S6, it was see and treat. I didn't really make a difference. Whereas I find here, I can actually make a difference. Do you think that that's about the relationship that you have with people? Or is that about the time that you get with people? I think it's the time, really is the time. And I feel you, you give a better service. I know that a lot of GPs do feel frustrated that they don't have as much time as they would like to be able to deal with patients and I know a lot of patients feel very frustrated that the doctor doesn't have enough time to deal with them as they'd like which sometimes is a legitimate frustration. I think that issue of time is true anywhere but it did seem particularly true in North Ronaldsey. Bernie isn't just a nurse there, she's an important part of the community and that issue of community seemed very integral to her role there. This is my second time in North Ronaldsey and I already feel like I'm starting to get to know some of the people there a little bit and starting to get to know the community and the island a bit. Bernie's going to be leaving soon and I know she's going to be missed but the way that her role works is going to be changed so rather than having her there 24-7 they're going to have two nurses that rotate on two week intervals. I feel okay that they sort of have adopted a, a new sort of concept of two weeks on two weeks off on a lot of the islands. To me, the positive side of my contract was the continuity of care and also um, the community in general liked somebody permanently on the island. I know the community on the island wasn't particularly happy about the way that that was going to be done initially. I was actually there at the time that they had a community meeting. It became clear that the issue was about that role that Bernie has in the community and that she isn't just a nurse and that she does more than caring for patients. She's part of caring for the community, for want of a better way of putting it. The community is like family, you know. Okay, there is a sort of a, a level where you have to sort of keep a little bit of a distance because, bear in mind, you are looking after them medically, but you're also being part of the community, socialising with them, helping out for events and that. So there is a kind of a fine line between, you know, looking after them medically and also being social with them. And that I think you have to set some boundaries, yeah. otherwise I think it wouldn't work. You How know? do you manage that? Yeah, I feel, I mean, I suppose I could say that I don't feel I'm in anybody's close-knit circle. Um, I feel you have to look after everybody. I treat everybody the same, basically, socially, but it gives you the freedom as well to be sort of... Um, a bit removed when you're dealing with them medically and I think you have to otherwise it wouldn't work I don't think you know and I think some people in the past I've heard have made that they sort of um, been overly friendly or sort of got into one camp 
and I think it hasn't worked out, you know. And I think if you're meant to be looking after the whole island's welfare and medically, you have to treat everybody the same. But I think there is a level where you have to actually draw back a bit at the end of the day. You're here to look after them, provide health care for them and make sure that there is that sort of, um, what would you say, barrier in a, in a way to, to be able to do that. I was hoping that I'd get to talk a little bit more about life on the island, but it'll just make the video too long. Hopefully I'll get to do that at some point in the future. I love it here though, it's pretty, it's relaxed, the sheep race and the slower pace of life is nice. That sense of community is really nice as well, and it's a bit closer to what I think general practice probably used to be in the past. I think that it's useful for us to learn a little bit from that. But in all honesty, I think living here would be a little bit much for me. It is that little bit too remote for me on a permanent basis. But I'm sure for the right person, it would be absolutely wonderful. And I really hope that the right person finds the island and the island finds them. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to come to North Ronaldsey, so thank you everyone in North Ronaldsey for making me feel so welcome, and I hope that I can come back again sometime. Thank you to Bernie for talking to me for this video, and all the best for the future, whatever you decide to do after your holiday. Anyway, I hope you found it interesting, maybe it's given you a bit of food for thought, maybe it's just made you think about seaweed eating sheep. Ring the bell, subscribe, share the links, and I'll see you next week.